in the health sections, I think, um, they tend to show things in terms of relative risk, which means they get to show more interesting graphics, I guess. Like, you know, if you're showing how much you're changing the risk over the general population, you could be, you know, showing a graph maybe with like, this genotype changes it this much, this one changes it this much, and this one changes it this much. And that's a more interesting shape. You sort of see this big change, it looks like. But if you look at that in absolute terms, it's actually that, you know, your population risk is this much, and with the genotype change, it's like this much. It's basically the same thing. And the other side, a little slightly elevated. And so that's a less interesting picture. And so they think that it's reasonable that they choose to show us relative risk. It's just important that, that the people who are looking at these interpretations understand what that means. And that even though it looks like a big change in the graph, it could be representing a very small sort of absolute change in their risk to this particular disease.